Hey everyone, um, I've got a very quick video check-in this morning for you. As you can see, I'm not in my usual spot. I'm actually um, down at our local fire station. So uh, New Zealand's just had a wildfire rip through a little uh, holiday town called Ohau. Uh, we've been called up, so the Glenorchy Fire Brigade is sending seven of our 15 members to go and help with that fire. Um, which looks like at this stage it'll probably be mop up, but we're just not too sure. It's been really windy, the conditions are variable, stuff could flare up when you don't expect it. So uh, I am sitting in the station, we are deploying today, we are ready to roll out and um, I wanted to shoot you a really quick video before I go. I know that by the time a lot of you see this I will either be on the road uh, or I will probably be on the fire ground, but I wanted to send you a quick video before I leave because it's all about consistency, right? and uh, I'm out for the next few days. Uh, so first off, a big thank you to all of my colleagues, all of my clients who've been really understanding, who appreciate uh, what it is to serve your community. And that's really what today's message is about, is serving your community. Um, thank you to all of you who understand that, they, you appreciate what it takes within New Zealand um, as a, you know, a largely volunteer fire force. Uh, you understand community, you're prepared to support your people in doing the things that need to happen and, um, and support your community. And uh, yeah, that's, that's it for today, is, is community for me. Uh, I joined the fire force when I moved into this small town of 250 people um, as a way of starting to be visible and present. And I think, um, you know, I've learned a lot through the fire force. There's a lot you learn about team dynamics, uh, the fire service itself is quite a, they think of themselves as a, uh, quite a command and control type organisation. You know, we have this chain of command, we, the way we talk about leadership generally centres around top-down hierarchies. Um, but one of the things I've learned is that when you're actually in the fire service, when you're operating, when you're on deployment, like we're about to, when you're out on a fire ground, it's actually generally small teams of people, five to six in a crew, uh, and you are out there on the ground doing what we would term dynamic risk assessment, uh, situational awareness. You've got the visibility of what's going on in your area and you are radioing back that visibility. You are giving back that visibility to a central command post. So it's actually less about centralised decisions being distributed and more about distributed teams in the work making decisions. So. Um, it's a fascinating little place to, to work with team dynamics and, um, and all those sorts of things. But I guess, yeah, one of the things I wanted to share today, when we're talking about community, when we're talking about building community, um, that visibility sharing is really core to the fire service and I think it's really core to um, what we need to do for our teams. So uh, when we're talking about distributed decision making, when we're talking about collaborative teams making decisions in the work, you know, m a more empowered workforce. Um, sometimes that all sounds really great and then the reality can kick in and it can get a little bit scary. And so I guess one of the core principles that really works within the fire service, and, um, and I've seen it work within our teams in the office too, is this idea of giving visibility, right? So teams in the work give visibility centrally. Centralised visibility decentralised control. The people on the fire ground are making a lot of the decisions um, and then they are giving visibility back centrally. And so that centralised hub becomes a place of visibility and knowledge and understanding of what's going on out on the work field. Uh, and those teams have the all of the ability that they need to make decisions, they're self-reliant, they're, they're out there for a task, they're given an outcome to achieve for the day, they go away and work it. So that giving of visibility back is, is really important. But it also goes both ways. So uh, the central hub is the place where, in what we call the command centre, you would have people that are keeping an eye on weather. Um, they're understanding the strategic big picture. They're getting visibility of some of those things that are broader than the immediate context of what the team is dealing with on the ground. And so their responsibility is to give that visibility back to the teams. And in this case, it can be life and death in those, those situations, right? This is a high stakes environment. And so my challenge for you this week is, how are you giving visibility out to your teams and how are those teams giving visibility back? How are you setting up that reciprocity 
so that the visibility is at the core of everything you do because that's what's going to tie your team together. It's the knowing of every individual skill set because you've had a conversation about who can do what. Um, you know, we know who's the strong man in the team. We know who can run up and down all hills all day. We know who has allergies or diabetes or might need, you know, has, has medical conditions that might impact how we go on the day. We have visibility of what's happening in our spot based on our our weather signals and our, our test equipment that we have with us as a team, but we have a support team back in the central command unit who have visibility of the broader big picture, they have comms coming in from all different areas, they're able to stitch together wider level logistics around how do we get vehicles and people to the positions where we need them most and how do we keep an eye on that big picture and make sure that everybody's safe. So that's my challenge to you this week. What are you doing to give visibility to your teams and in return, what visibility are you asking them to give back? It's a give, give situation. Uh, that's it from me. We're getting ready to roll out, so I'm going to go and do some final packing. Um, and I will see you all on the flip side next week, probably with a few more war stories. Have a great week, everyone. Thanks.